Okay, I'm going to relay to you the story of the weirdest day in my life to date. It started in the morning when my baby sister called me up to let me know that it had snowed, so I'd be careful on my way to work. Okay, thanks for the info. Got up, got dressed, drove down, got on the freeway, and there was no snow on the road itself. So I'm on the connector driving. Someone's coming up the on-ramp from the mall area, and instead of just making a gradual turn into the lane, they make a sharp left turn. Don't know if they hit a patch of ice that no one saw, or if they lost control, but they ended up T-boning the SUV that was in front of me. Directly in front of me, as in 10 to 20 feet. I slammed on my brakes. The person behind me slammed on their brakes, and luckily turned just ever so slightly so they didn't ram me. We got out of our car, checked on them, they were okay, they were worried that maybe they'd cause another accident behind them. No, we were fine. The person that was behind me whipped out their cell phone and called up the police and ambulance and everything. And about 15 seconds later, since the police station is just down the road, we heard sirens, they came up, I got in my car, left, went to work. I'll go to work, work my two hours, and go on break, open up the newspaper, and in the scene section, it's talking about an Evanescence concert tonight. Why didn't I know about this before? I love Evanescence music. Anyway, so I called to select the seats and had them reserve me a ticket. They're 35 bucks. No big deal. I had the money for it. So, went work the rest of the day because I'm happy as a clam. I'm going to be going to Evanescence. About 3.30, my younger sister, my other sister, calls me up and says, What are you doing tonight? Well, I plan on going to the concert. Don't do it! Don't buy a ticket! Why not? Well, I have two free tickets for you. Huh? How did you get two free tickets? Apparently, one of her friends' boss had given her tickets, and she couldn't use them, so my sister's friend had uh, asked her if she knew anyone who wanted to go to the concert. My sister recommended me. Great! I was happy with that. Now I got free tickets to go. I don't have to spend $35. So I called up a couple of my friends, and no one was able to go. They were too busy, out of town or family was in town, stuff like that. So I ended up going alone. Oh well, no biggie. I planned, after I got off work, to go home, change into some good clothes, uh, you know, concert going clothes, you know, black, all black, put on my spike bracelet, spike collar, spike my hair, you know, something to fit in with the rest. Didn't get to do it. I went to the Home Depot where my sister was working, picked up the tickets from her, and her friend was there with her, so we ended up talking for an hour, an hour and a half, and I didn't have enough time to make it down to Meridian, change, and come back up the freeway. There's no way you're going to do that in 5 o'clock traffic. Never. So after I left them with my tickets, I went down to Joey's Only Seafood and had me some fish for dinner. I flirted with one of the waitresses who was a longtime friend of mine, but after that I went into Boise, parked in one of the parking garages, went across the street, handed my ticket in, and then went to my seat. The seats weren't bad at all. Uh, they were close enough to the stage, and I was on the side of the stage. They were close enough that everybody who stood there was about three inches high. So that's pretty good seating. I wasn't up in the nosebleed section where babies are being conceived. I was actually in a good spot where I could see everything. Well, they had two opening bands. One was called Julian K. the second one was Sick Puppies. I'd never heard of either one of them. But I figure, well, if they're opening for Evanescence, they must be pretty good. Julian K. comes on, plays their music, and they had an hour-long session. They were awesome! I loved every bit of it! After they played their session, they were going to change the concert or the stage around, so I got up to the, go to the concession stand to get me a t-shirt, and uh, I had to walk up the cement steps, go down the hall, and then down to the concession stand on the other side. Got my t-shirt, got a ski cap, and some buttons, which I ended up giving to a friend who loved Evanescence, and then went back or down the hall and down to my seat, and realized I had gone one door too, f uh, too soon. I had to go a little further to my seat. Well, there were people sitting down the row, and rather than having them stand up so I could get by, I walked up two rows where no one was sitting, walked down the row, and then went over the first seat down, was fine, went over the second seat, stumbled, caught myself, took one step, fell flat on my face. 
Well, not my face, but my chest and my knees. They took the brunt of it. Well, no one bothered to help me. No one asked if I was okay. No one did anything. I got up, dusted myself off, sat down in my seat, thought to myself, OW! And I'm not getting up again. No matter what happens, I am sitting in my seat. I am not drunk. I hadn't had a thing to drink, not even a glass of water. Uh, Sick Puppies came on next, and they were great too. The only thing I didn't care much for their music was everything was effing this and that. Oh well. Everyone has their own style. They played for another hour. Then Evanescence came on, and it was beautiful. They played everything off of Open Door and Fallen, and they had a whole two hours to play it. So, I ended up lying to myself instead of staying in my seat. I didn't leave it too far. But I stood up and was dancing around with everybody, like everyone down in the mosh pit was doing. People up beside me and behind me and in front of me were all just dancing to the music and singing with her. And it was beautiful, wonderful stuff. After the concerts, I went outside and found the tour buses. I figured, great, I'm going to get my autographs. So I had my ticket out and everything. I had a marker with me so they could sign it had my t-shirt if they wanted to sign that. Um, never saw anybody, really. An hour and a half goes by, and me and a bunch of other people are waiting by the buses. One guy from Sick Puppies or Julian K, I can't remember which one, came out, and he autographed my ticket, got on the bus, got off, walked back in, and we were kind of getting suspicious about this because no one's getting on the buses. Well, before too long, this very elegantly dressed couple walks by, and they walk up to me, say, here, and then walk away. I went, what the heck? I look down at my hands, and there's a bottle of champagne. The teenage couple that was standing next to me asked me what the heck had happened. I showed them to them and said they gave me a bottle of champagne. We all laughed our butts off at that. I still have that bottle. Right here. I've kept it in my fridge for the last three years. It's a 2001 Brut, or Brut, I'm not sure which. I'm not a connoisseur of champagne, or alcohol, period. We wait there for a little while longer, and I get a weird suspicion that these might not be right. So I walk around the corner, and there's another couple tour buses, and some semis being loaded up with all the big equipment. The stage equipment, the instruments, everything. Here, we've been duped. These were dummy buses. So I walked around and waited, and waited, and waited some more. About an hour later, someone finally comes up to me and asks me what I'm doing there. Well, I tell them, you know, I'm waiting to get an autograph by Amy Lee and the rest of the band, if I can. Well, they're already on the bus. They're not going to come down. Okay, why not? Can't they just sign the autograph? I mean, heck, I thought to myself, hey, I'll get an autograph from them and I've got a bottle of champagne. We can share it. Let's open it up and everyone pass around and we'll celebrate. Great! Have lots of fun. Never happened. This guy ushers me away says, nope, they're not going to be coming off the bus, so you need to go. Okay, fine. Thumb my nose at you. I'm leaving of my own accord. <laughs> so, that part wasn't the nicest, but the rest of it was great. I got home around 2 in the morning and wrote all my stuff down. I used to write a magazine, so I wrote it down in the magazine. And that concluded the weirdest day in my life, from the beginning to the end. Um, if you have a weird story you'd like to share, go ahead and either write it in the comments below, or post it as a video response. And I would be more than happy to share it with everyone else. Take care, guys. Have fun. Bye.